Hey everybody, wanted to jump on here and give you the expected 49ers practice participation report for Tuesday as they get ready for this is going to be their first practice in preparation for Saturday's opening game of the playoffs at home at Levi Stadium against the Seattle Seahawks. Big matchup for the 49ers taking on the Seahawks for the third time this season. The good news, the 49ers are healthy. They have, they're as healthy as they've been really at any point this season, probably even more so than they were when they took on uh, Chicago in the opening week. Remember back then there was no Jimmy Ward. Uh, there were some other guys that were injured. They were dealing with some stuff. Now the Fires come into week one of the, of the playoffs. Everybody is healthy. The only guys that are missing practice today, Jimmy Garoppolo, who is the backup quarterback to begin with, and Avery Thomas, who is a backup defensive back. So the Fires are extremely healthy as far as their starters. You look at the, the players who are expected to be limited participants today, and you have linebackers, Demetrius Flanagan Fowles, and Dre Greenlaw. Greenlaw, a key piece of that Fires defense, missed last week's game, uh, but he's played at a very high level all season long. Actually, the 49ers leading tackler. Uh, they're also expect, expected to have Aaron Banks back on a limited basis today, uh, the starting left guard coming back from a knee injury. It's looking strong, like he's going to be able to play on Saturday. We'll see how that progresses throughout the week. Also, Eric Armstead and Christian McCaffrey are listed as limited participants, along with Javon Kinlaw. Now, Having Javon Kinlaw listed as a limited participant is big news for the Friars in that typically he does not participate in practice on the first day. Usually that first day is, is a day off. Uh, they take it easy for him and then he comes back and he practices the last two days. So uh, having Javon Kinlaw listed there as limited uh, is a sign of how important this game is for the 49ers. Same thing with Nick Bosa and Trent Williams. Bosa and Williams normally don't participate in practice on uh, the first day, which is usually Wednesday, but because of the game coming up on Saturday, everything's been moved forward. So Tuesday is a Wednesday for the 49ers and so on. Uh, so extremely good news there on the injury front. Also, uh, another good piece of injury news for San Francisco is Kevin Givens, the defensive tackle, uh, is expected to participate in full. Uh, he returned to practice last week. He had had a knee injury that had kept him out for a while, uh, but he is expected to be back in full today. Uh, so good news there. And then one last thing that I wanted to mention is uh, there's been a lot of talk already this week about teams having to sweep some another team three times, beat them three times in a row to complete that season sweep. The 49ers having that game at home. So you look at the teams that have been in this situation where they've, they're going for a, a three-game sweep of another, uh, playing that third game at home. That has happened 18 times previously in the in the NFL. In those 18 matchups, the home team is 12-6. and six. So... The numbers are in the 49ers' favor here. They are the better team. We'll get into more of the reasons why they should win this game uh, as the week progresses. But I wanted to come on here, give you guys that information. Hopefully you like what you see on this channel and you hit that like button for me. If you also uh, aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button as well and hit the little bell notification uh, so that you don't miss any time we go live. Because here at the Jack Hammer channel, what I try to do is bring you all the 49ers breaking news and updates as they happen. Try to do it without much, uh, give you my own opinion, but try to keep it on a, on a lighter note in terms of uh, we don't pick on, on players and things like that. Try to keep everything uh, as, as straightforward as possible, and I hope you enjoy that type of content. And uh, always try to have fun here, and I appreciate you guys for taking the time. So if you guys can please do a favor, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and keep it locked in here to the Jack Hammer channel for all your 49ers news and updates. It'd be greatly appreciated. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. I'll be back with you for, with more information as it happens. Take care, everybody.